Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. This is loud, so I'm gonna turn it down. Um, because apparently my friend thinks that I'm gonna get uh my videos taken down because of the music in the background, but I don't feel like that. But whatever. Anyway, so let's get into what I'm gonna be talking about. Y'all like my cup? My friend Medina got this for me for my birthday as an early birthday gift. I love this cup. And these is hard to find. The matte black Starbucks cups is really hard to find. But anyway, so I decided to like talk about, I guess, kind of not like, I guess, not my coming out story, but like my experience growing up and like who I am and what I kind of went through like growing up so I guess I don't know what I would call this I really don't know so I guess by the time you see it it'll have a name so there we go whatever I come up with but I don't know yet um so I don't really do labels like I really don't so, I'm trying to figure out how to have this. If it falls, I'm going to be so mad. Like that video that's already on here. I'm trying to get my bun in it. <laughs> so, um, I will never really say, oh, I'm gay, I'm bi, I'm straight, or whatever, because I don't like labels. I've always said I like what I like. So, yes, I like guys, but I do feel like I like girls, but I haven't. I can, to be really honest, and I don't even think I've even told my friends this, I feel like to an extent I can be sexual with a girl, but not all the way, if that makes sense. I haven't really figured it out because I, life is about growth. I'm still figuring myself out and still figuring things out, which leads me into a statement. When I used to, when people find out or I would tell them, they'd be like, oh, I knew. You didn't know because I didn't know. I'm going to address that in a second. So before I start the video, and it is, it is 11.16 p.m. on a Monday night. <laughs> so I called my stepdad. I don't want to put his number on there. I called him at 10.40 p.m. So I've been preparing to do this because my mom to my, my mom has known that I like guys since I really want to say my 17th birthday but it was never 17 no Am I, it was just, and this is going like a jump but like between 17 and 19 I don't remember but um as far as that let me tell that first so I've always known, well, let me, okay, let me go, let me lead up to that. So when I was a kid, I've always known, like, oh, I was different, like, stuff, used, like, it's embarrassing, but, I mean, it is what it is. I used to, like, run with the girls and guys, like, the guys would chase the girls, that kind of thing, whatever. So I always knew I was different, but I never knew what it was. Like, my middle, my elementary school wasn't like that. Like, everybody was friends with everybody, like, there was no really, like, name calling, calling or anything like that. Like, it just wasn't like that. Then I got to my middle school with all the ghetto-ass kids from all the other elementary schools. Like, what were the other elementary schools? I don't even remember. But when I got with they ratchet asses. And we was kids. How do y'all know this shit when we kids? Anyway, when I got to the middle school, because all the elementary schools went to, like, it was, like, four or five middle schools that all the kids, like, went to. But... Like, it's broke out or whatever. But the ones that went to mine was trifling. So, when I was in sixth grade, people started calling me gay. I'm like, what's the heck? I don't know what that is. So, <laughs> I never really paid, like, any attention to it. But one of my really good friends at the time, we're not really, like, friends for real anymore. We're okay, I guess. We're cool. Right, whatever you want to call it. We, um... People kept saying, like, we were, like, 
dating or whatever. And I'm like, well, what is that? Like, I really, when I tell you I was oblivious as a kid, I had no idea what anything was. Like, no idea. So, we, um, I had, like, experiences, like, in middle school, like, I ain't gonna go into that because it's gonna tell you too much. But, um, I, like, knew I was attracted to guys, but I didn't know it was considered different or there was a name for it. So, I was getting called all these things, and I'm like, no, I'm not. Even after I figured out what the meaning was, I was like, I mean, no, I'm not. Like, you know, I don't think this is what this is because, again, when I was younger, I still had, like, had girlfriends. I've never been in a relationship with a guy. I've always had girlfriends. But, um, I, I always said, no, I wasn't. And then when we got to middle school... I mean, not middle school, high school, <laughs> and I saw a lot of the other options that were out there. Wait, sidebar, do y'all like this shirt? My coworker got it for me. We had, like, Secret Santa, and she got me this shirt from Express. It's a pocket on it. It's so cute. Not that my phone is going, oh, it, shut up, it fits. But yeah, she got me this for Secret Santa from Express. It's really cute. Thank you, Irina. I don't know if you're going to see this, but... Um, so, when I got to high school and saw the other options, I was like, I was okay, you know, let me try to figure this out. But again, my thing always was, it's hard to figure myself out. Well, it was always hard to figure me out. If it... <sighs> that was annoying. Because I'm like, what's scratching me? Is the thing still in here? It is. It was always hard to figure myself. It's hard to figure yourself out when everyone around you is trying to tell you what you are. And that was my thing. Like, I, how am I supposed to figure out what I want or who I want to be when everyone else is trying to tell me what I am? So, when that, that's going back to that statement I said in the beginning. When, when people would say, oh, I knew, you didn't know because I didn't. Everybody was telling me what I was, and I wasn't able to figure it out myself. So, yeah, I like guys, but. Maybe I don't like girls. I don't know. I really don't know. I've never. I've tried to. I've done a few things with a girl, but I'm not about to air my sexual history out on uh, YouTube. But I've done things with a girl, but I've never actually had sex with a girl. So, I will try it, and we'll see how that goes. But maybe but um i just don't want to label myself so i is and i feel like people are gonna say well oh well if you can't admit it then it means you're not comfortable no i'm i'm very comfortable who i am and what i like it's just in a weird way i feel like if i say oh i'm gay or whatever the case is I'm proving everyone right, in a sense, or I'm like, I don't even know, uh, but it's like I'm proving everyone right, or it's like I'm giving people, like, satisfaction, I don't like that, because it's like, y'all didn't know anything, y'all assumed, and because you let your assumptions be louder than they should have, I was able to figure out myself. So now that I'm older and I've been able to branch out, do a few things, have a little fun, <laughs> I've been able to figure out that, okay, you know, I do like guys. If that's considered gay, that's what it is. But I'm also not limiting myself to that. So that's where I come in, where, how I feel about it. Um, I also feel like when I got to high school, it got worse because... We had a lot of kids come from the city. And again, I don't know how y'all was raised or what y'all was raised like or what the things y'all went through. But we was kids. A lot of the things that was being said about me, I'm like, how do y'all even know some of this shit? Like, okay, obviously, if you don't know by now, my name is Richard. There were two Richards in that school. One of them was white and I was black. I was a freshman 
one day we had like a fire drill and I'm like walking out and this kid that I don't like to this day, don't care for me, he's annoying, whatever, walked up to me and was like, you had a thong on at a party? I can only imagine the face expression I made, but I'm like, what are you talking about? And when I was younger, I had like a, a thing with trying to like clear my name or clear shit up. I don't do that. I'm out of a fuck. Um, but like, I was so confused and to come to find out it was the other Richard and he went to a party in a jock strap. But it was just like, because of the assumptions people already had of me, there was that. But I'm sorry, um, I'm, how old was I, freshman? How old are we? 13, 14? My friends, no, my mom wouldn't let me go to no party at nobody's house at 14 years old. That's ghetto. No, it wasn't me. But anyway, so it was like little stuff like that that was like always said about me. I was, I will never say I was bullied because I feel like that kind of makes me sound weak. Yeah, people said certain things, but this was my my thing because of what my mother always told me. As long as nobody puts your hands on you, they can say what they want. And that's how I always felt. You can say whatever you want. I don't care. Just don't put your hands on me. And that's just the end of that. But, um... I've all... I think so. I think I've always had supportive friends. Always my friends knew for years. Family. It's a group. Of my family. And you know, I don't give a fuck. That live in Wisconsin that I know really don't fuck with it for real. And I'm grown as hell and I'm not stupid. I don't give a fuck. I don't talk to the motherfuckers anyway. But as far as my family in Illinois and in a few other states, I've always had support from. No matter what. It didn't matter. I've always had support from them. Um, And they've always loved me. Like, I've, I don't have one of those. And I feel sorry for people who do, like, 100%. But I don't have one of those stories where I was like disowned or kicked out or like that kind of thing. Like, I'm sure everybody knows in African American families, it's like unseen, unheard with everything. Don't talk about it, it doesn't exist, it never happened. So, for years, that's kind of how it was with me and my mom because I live with my mom, my stepdad doesn't live with us. Um, he, no, she never really said anything but like more recently the last two three years she'll like do little stuff to like let me know like hey i support you <laughs> like she'll because i've always been like and i'm okay so my my channel is like based around like freedom and like be yourself and do what you want to do so i use the unicorn a lot and to me there's a lot of horses in this world. Why not be a unicorn? That means be unique, different, colorful, fun, sp like full of life, like live your life, be as bright as you want to be. So my mom will like see me like unicorn and stuff. Or she'd be like, oh, look at this. If it has like a unicorn on it. Or like this past Christmas, her and my brother decorated Christmas cookies. And she like made, the Christmas cookies were ugly sweaters. And she like decorated it with like a rainbow stripe. She's like, look. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> like I never know what to say. But it is always appreciated. So, Mom, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> but, um, I told, okay, so the, how I told my mom was, because my mom, oh, she, oh my God, that's another thing. Oh, God. My mom always asked me. And I used to get so upset because it was like, I'm at home. Leave me alone. Like, I'm at home. I can be who I want to be here. Don't don't ask me a bunch of shit like everybody else is at school. Like, just let me be me, whatever that is. And she never was, like, not letting me. But, you know, she just wanted to know. She's a parent. She's a black mother. They're nosy as hell, for those who know. They're nosy. But all mothers are nosy. But black mothers? <sighs> they will meddle in your life. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> um, my mom has always... For the most part, let me, you know, live my life and do what I wanted to an extent. As long as it wasn't, like, anything that could... Excuse me, like I said. <sighs> it's 11 o'clock at night and that was not cute. <laughs> <laughs> but...
she's always been supportive. So I, even whether I was at 17 or 19, I don't remember. But it was a birthday where my brother didn't want to go and my grandma couldn't go or something like that. But it was me and mom at dinner at this place called Dixie Kitchen. Oh my God, I miss it. It's closed, but it was so good. And I told my friend, okay, I want to say this. Just because I'm, I don't even want to say coming forward, but just because I'm, I guess, saying it out of my mouth, that doesn't speak for anybody else. Because a lot of times people will associate what I'm doing or what I say with everybody I kick it with and everybody I associate myself with. This has nothing to do with anybody but the person you're watching say it. So don't go take this and assume that it applies to everybody else I talk to or everybody else I'm cool with. Everybody else I'm friends with because I'm friends with straight dudes. So don't assume just because I'm cool with somebody or I'm friends with somebody that that means they are too or they feel the same way or this, that, and the third. This is about me and it's for me and it's meant to give you guys an inside of me, not anyone else. And that's period. I just had to say that. Because that happened a lot in high school and that was annoying as hell. That because of association, I or my friend was assumed to be gay or whatever. This is about me, bottom line. Um but I went to um we well we me and my mom went to damn I don't forgot the name of the restaurant that fast. Dixie Kitchen. And I was I told my friend, I was like, I'm I'm the night, I guess. And I was like and we were eating out just standing I was like, I gotta tell you something. My mom is the most impatient human being on the face of the earth you could be in a wheelchair and she'll get upset not for real for real but she's just that impatient so <laughs> i was like i had to tell you something and i'm just like shit i'm just like like i'm i gotta tell you something but i'm like not paying attention to her she's like what she's like i'm not gonna force you i'm like i like guys Surprise! And she goes, <laughs> and she goes. She's like, Richie. I've always told you, if you're my family and like close, close friends, so don't call me this because I'm not gonna respond. They call me Richie. And she's like, Richie. I've always told you, I don't care. Like, if that's the worst thing you could be, who cares? Like, that's not a bad thing. And after that night, we never talked about it again. But I feel like one of the reasons that made me want to tell her is because I started talking to somebody who I'm, that was, oh shit, I'm stupid. Okay, so look, so that was, shut up. Okay, I'm 23 minus, I was 17. I was 17 years old because I started talking to this guy and we've been talking for six years. So I'm 23 minus six is 17. Why not do that early? I'm not good at math. But, or being smart, apparently. So, oh my God, y'all look at the charms I got. I ain't gonna go into that. But, um, so I told I told her because the guy I was talking to, we, we've been on and off talking for six years. I feel like we were like in a relationship twice, but like talking on and off for six years. And we're still currently, oh damn, we're communicating, talking, I don't know. But, <laughs> I want it to be so much more, but things got to be different for that. But anyway, so um, because of this, how things were with him, I like we fell off and it was my fault because I was like, okay, we're getting too close. Like, I'm scared. Like, if we end up together, I'm going to have to tell people. Like, it was it was a lot. So because of that, was that was one of the reasons, one of the main reasons I told my mom. But I didn't think necessarily that she would care, that she wouldn't. It was just, you know, it's nerve-wracking and shit. And she was, she, my mom was, like, offended and upset with me. Like, she was upset because that's what I told my friends first. She was so mad about that. Then she um was upset because she was like, why wouldn't you think you could tell me? I was like, you have to understand. Like, I've seen movies about parents loving their kids unconditionally. And they tell them they're, like, gay or straight. I mean, gay or straight. Gay or bi or a lesbian or whatever the case is. And then they kick them all the way out. She was like, well, you should know me. I was like, it's not about knowing you. And my thing is, and this is to you, mother, because you're going to watch this video. You don't, what you didn't understand, I don't think, I don't know if you do now, 
It's not about how you are. It has nothing to do with you. It's about everything that I've seen. And I have literally seen, and in real life, I've had friends who have told their parents that they like the same sex or both sex. And they have completely switched or kicked them out or disowned them or whatever the case is. And it's not because it's not it has nothing to do with how you are, it's just what how it goes or how it can go. It's that fear has nothing to do with you personally. And that that was my biggest thing and she no she didn't understand that, that it had nothing to do with her. It was just like shit, it was like what it was. Like it's just what can happen. But she was so upset and it was pissing me off because she wasn't understanding that it had nothing to do with her. Like she was making it about her and that's what was upsetting me because it wasn't about you. But maybe she gets that now, I don't know. But um, yeah, so I told her she didn't care. But then, like I said, as like now, like one night I had to, <laughs> I was on the phone. I don't know who I was on the phone with. It was probably, I almost said the name, the guy I'm talking to. But um, it was real late. My mom was like, get the hell off the phone. I was like, I'm on the phone with my man. And she was like, I don't give a fuck who you on the phone with. Get the fuck off the phone. And I was like, wow, okay, that wasn't the reaction I was expecting. Just to, like, test the waters and see if she, like, would she care now or, like, whatever. And she completely didn't. She just wanted me to shut the hell up. But <laughs> I, and, you know, it wasn't easy. Like, I, I always felt different. I never felt like I've ha I had some really dark times about it. And I feel like if I had been more aware of me and what I wanted in high school, I probably could have thrived and been so much better in high school than I was. And I could have... Anyway, um, I just could have had a better high school experience. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't the best. Like, I, didn't, I don't think I had anything real traumatic happen in high school. Hopefully not for the rest of my life. But, um when it comes to my sexuality or anything, I got called names, that kind of thing. I never got, like, bumped, pushed up against the wall or anything like that. But I'm also big as hell. Like, I'm 6'1". We're not going to talk about how much I weigh, but I'm big. So, I never had that happen. But it was still, like, you know, mentally, like, a lot. So, I don't know. I just, I feel like people know, but I've never really, oh, I was like, what is this? I've never, I forgot y'all can see that part. I've never really addressed it directly. I've never said, oh, I'm gay. I've never said, oh, I like guys. I kind of just, one day, two, I'll never forget, on 2017, July something, I posted on Facebook, and I was like, the answer is yes. And I put, like, the rainbow emoji in after that. First of all, that status blew up. But after that, it was okay. Everybody knows. Like, I don't need to say anything. But um, I kind of got inspired by Nikki Tutorials. She posted, by the time I post this, it'll be yesterday. She posted yesterday, January 13th, because I'm posting this on the 14th, and said that she's trans. Meaning that, what did she say? She was born a boy. And at the age of 14, she started transitioning, and she finished by the age of 19, and just has been able to grow as a woman. And that kind of, like, everything she said really, really inspired me. So, I was like, well, let me just, you know, finally say it. So, my mom was like, I was like, I'm going to text my stepdad. She's like, you need to call him. I'm like, do I have to? And she was like, you have to call him. And my stepdad is really like my dad, for real. For he's been, always been there for me, always treated me like his son. So, it was... It was hard. My brother is asleep, so I'm going to call him and tell him tomorrow. But it was hard. It was weird. It was different. But it didn't go left. It was fine. He didn't really care. He was like, my life is my life, whatever. Like, you know, he was like, just, just be careful out there. But, um... Yeah, he didn't really, I don't really have, like, I feel like people expect things to be, like, a negative experience. And I didn't really have, you know, too many bad experiences. I went through some shit, like, younger, younger within myself and, like, a few people around me. But that's, like, deep, deep. And maybe I'll, like, do, like, a growing up 
different segment or something like that. But like for this video, I don't want to go that deep. Not, not this soon. But um, yeah, it wasn't. I don't know. It wasn't like anything like crazy or traumatic that happened for real. I don't think I ever lost any friends because of it. Because I never, the friends that I lost, I lost before I even like told anybody. But I did learn who was really my friend because of it. That I did learn. Because of some stuff that I told some people that back when I was in high school that I told some people that they opened their mouth well and told somebody else and then blamed another one of my friends that I later found out wasn't true. But I don't know to either one of them, so it doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, high school was interesting. It wasn't, again, it wasn't bad, though. Like, I didn't have... It was rough, but it wasn't bad, though. I feel like through it all, I still remained as happy as I could be. I wish I focused more on my schoolwork than I did about, you know, the next best thing or, like, who was, like, popular or whatever the case was. But I was worried about the wrong shit. But, um, I'm getting tired. <laughs> but it's a few people in my family that I haven't told so they will see the video. But I don't really... I feel like I told... I don't want to say I told who matters. Because that's like harsh. But who knows... I told for a reason. And who doesn't is going to find out in the video. It's the reason I didn't tell you. And you're finding out in the video. But um... I'm... I don't know. I'm comfortable in my own skin. Like I know who I am. I know what I want. I don't care who doesn't like it. I don't... I just don't care. It's life is too short and it's a new decade. And I just, at this point, I just want to be happy. So that's what I'm choosing to be happy. I don't have time or patience for things that aren't leading me to my goal and my dreams or what I want to do in life or who I want to be. Um, I'm texting in the middle of the video, but I told you I got a new camera, so... <laughs> I can use my phone now, taking advantage of that. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I probably should cut that out. I'm probably not going to. I don't feel like editing. Um, my, but my, my advice to people, for one, is be who the fuck you want. I just really reminded myself of my mom. <laughs> be who you want. Do what you want love who you want live your life because at the end of the day when everybody dead and gone what what are other people's opinions and how they feel about my charm is really scratching the table and i wonder how long it's been doing that <laughs> what is other people's opinions or how they feel about you and their views what is that going to do for you in the long run because they're going to live their lives and you're sitting here shaking and scared and don't want to live your life based off of what people say about you when they're moving on so now you're stuck and in this dark position in place because you listen to other people don't who cares don't nobody matter even if you lose friends or family members over it why should you suppress yourself and who you are and who you love and who you want to be and your potential because of the next person, regardless of who it is? And maybe that's easy for, for me to say because I have the support for my friends and family. But what it boils down to is that's what it is. And I wish I could go into detail about something or someone specific, but I can't just yet. But i can speak from a point of what if i was to lose it all because of something else but 
none of I don't want to say none of it matters, but in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of your life, it's not worth suppressing and being sad and de and depressed and upset and hurt and like you literally have like chains wrapped around you holding yourself in because you don't want to show who you really are. It's not worth it. What kind of life is that to live? Like honestly. So I just feel like you know, be who you are, do what you want. Be careful. Extremely careful, especially on these dating apps, and that's for straight people, lesbians, gay people. Be careful on these apps and stuff like that, because it ain't worth it. It's not. And be careful, stay protected, all that stuff. But just live your life. I I feel like I told my mom at a young age, and that kind of helped me begin to live my life. But when I finally, cause two thousand. When I was 17, it wasn't 2017. I turned 20 in 2017, I think. Yes, I turned 20 in 2017. Nope, I turned 21. But um, I, when I posted that status, saying the answer is yes, that like freed me. But I was at least free at home because my mom knew. So up until that, I still felt okay. When I posted that status, it was like... I felt so good. Like, I felt so good. It was like a release. And that's why I feel like I shouldn't share that. Because when I put it out in the world, that was my way of putting it out other than this. Because this is really going there. Um, It felt so good. It felt so good. So, I just, I want that for everybody. Like, I want that for everyone. I want you to be able to be comfortable and put out how you feel and everything that happens in your story. And speak on it and tell the world, like... You're here and don't apologize for it. That's just the bottom line. In my opinion, that's what it's all about. Um, but yeah, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Wait, can I get copyrighted for that? No, because this is not a TED Talk. But <laughs> thank you all for listening. It wasn't... I feel like because, I'm, because I am to a point where I'm comfortable with who I am, it wasn't hard to talk about. It was... Well, not hard. It was it was hard, but it wasn't, like, as scary as I thought it was going to be. I was, like, shaking. When I told my stepdad, I literally, like, my toes were so curled, I almost ripped the tile off my kitchen floor. Like, I was so scared. <laughs> but, and my friend was on the phone, and it was like, <laughs> it was like, bitch, I was over here scared as hell for you. But it didn't go, you know, bad. It was all right. It went good. But yeah, you know, be who you are, love yourself, all of that good stuff. Don't worry about anybody else. And I am going to sign off because I need to go to sleep. I got work tomorrow. But I just wanted to, I wanted to share that I was feeling inspired and I wanted to share my story with you all. Like how Nikki, again, Nikki Tutorial, shout out to you. I salute you for that because that's, that's a lot to, after that many years to like to say that. So I applaud you and... That was amazing. It really was. And thank you for inspiring me to speak my story and speak my truth. I appreciate it. I'm glad I did it, though. Um, but yeah, that's all. I have... I have a lot of y'all. That gingerbread video I was supposed to do, I ne the gingerbread house and the train, that stuff is still sitting over there. I need to do it. And just like kind of like probably like a chit chat with me. If people have questions about this video or anything else, leave them below. And I'll do like a chit chat questionnaire video and build that because I really still want to build it. That shit is probably stale, but I still want to build it because I've always wanted to do it since I was a kid. And I haven't done one since I was a kid. So I'm going to do that. So that's coming. <laughs> but I want to get this out first. So yeah, but you all have a good night and I will see you in the next video.